Good grief. You people don't piss about, do you? It's not the Concord, but it'll do the trick. And my Sharon? Switch. Only one way to find oh. out. Huh. Must be loose wiring. Well, I minored in engineering. This should be as easy as falling off a log. Target down. You did it. Now head towards an exit. There's been an accident. I think the person might be dead. All right, get out. This is between myself and Master Cross. Uh, um, are you sure that's wise, sir? Do it, Otis. Mr. Morgan. Okay, start talking, Morgan. I will tell you the truth. You must understand. It wasn't supposed to go down like this. Your father was merely being sagacious. What are you babbling about? Hannah Highmore's death tape. The proverbial smoking gun that you so precariously kept for yourself instead of destroying the evidence. That's why I'm here. Oh, Dixie. Don't be too hard on Miss Barrett. Everyone has a price, and it is usually lower than you'd think. We did not mean to use it, of course. Not unless you left your father no choice. Oh, you wouldn't dare. You covered it up! I'll take you down with me, all right? You and my dad. Your father and I acted in good faith. How were we to know that Dexy Barrett helped you tamper with the crime scene, made it look like an accident? It's Miss Barrett you call him. Not your father. The bribes and the hush money all came from offshore accounts in your name. Don't bullshit me, Jordan. You and I are in very different leagues. A bastard! Target down. Now on to Jordan Cross. Dad, please call me. It, it happened again. <laughs> Both targets down. Now head towards an exit. Hello, sir. Nails, I uh, need another pill. The effect is waning. This way, Doc. I'll show you where my stash is. Hey, I get it. I'm not an errand boy. Lead the way. Stem cell is the future of medicine, Nails. It's what will truly make us gods if only our politicians. Surgery is probably the toughest thing out there. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm sure flying a helicopter is a challenge as well. But you've got the autopilot to help you out. Me, I'm alone with just my Here hands and my brain. Help yourself. Hell of thanks, Nails. You're a champion. Easy does it, Doc. I'm, I'm fine. I, I can take it. I just need a kick in the ass. Oh. It's like my brain's walking on burning coals. <laughs> oh, my God. That shit Eric showed us who I'm in there trying to save. Put a noose around my father's neck and kicked away the chair? Hmm? Killed him for money? <laughs> oh, you pay. Screw FDA approval. Right here, right now, Eric Sodas is going to pay. Good. In perfect order. Oh, 
That's wonderful. So it is down. To be honest, I'm not sure what to feel about this one. Well, that's for another time. Yamazaki awaits. I don't know. Patient did die. Famous one at that. So, you're the curator's research aide, right? Let me guess. You want to know the about assistant? medical trial? I assume he was let go. Oh, my. This space. The colors. Oh, the shapes. It's beautiful. Exactly as it needs to be. Oh, a place for everything and everything in its proper place. Oh, my goodness. Oh, why haven't I noticed before? I need to share this with my babies. Oh, no. Here it comes. The old poisonous cloud bank rolling in. Oh, oh how did I imagine I could escape it? Oh, this is who I am. Always will be. As long as all the organs are salvaged and in prime condition, our job is done. Ah! Oh, God, help! Please, help me! I made myself a promise. If the chip didn't work, if the darkness returned, I would end it. I bank on the misery of others. I fill up a tiny space. It'll close up fast when I'm gone. Yeah, the gig's all right. Food's decent. Most of the people here are just lazy rich people. It's not like Mogadishu, that's for sure. <laughs> I leave this world hey, as, a, as a simple stain on a rock far below this loathsome place. I will have time for one final thought, one defiant act against the darkness. It'll be enough. This is as good a spot as any. One small step, that's all it takes. From this height, there's no return. No second, third, or fourth chances. Perhaps if I go head first, the fall will crush that cursed microchip first. A fitting end, I'd say. So, Excelsior.
No sign of the target on the terrace. Over. Nothing to report from my current location. Over. Where is he? Anyone got a visual? Get him in your sights and pull that trigger, Jen. Lost visual. Lost visual. Anyone got eyes on Tango? Nothing here, Command. I lost him too. Moving on. Please advise, over. It's all clear. Over. Roger, Command. Nothing tangible yet. Still looking. Will do. Out. Target down. Well done, 47. Now get off the property. Sierra's coming in. Everyone on your... What the hell?
Mr. Smith, a pleasure. Do you have the trigger? Right here, sir. Thank you. Tomorrow's papers will surely just write this off as a terrorist militia attack on some rich corporate CEO, but you and I will know better. Now watch this. Leave me. I need to be alone for a moment. Yes, sir. Oh, here he comes. Target down. Next up, Robert Knox. Sierra, how did you... Suppose it's quite elegant, admirable, even. If, if you will excuse me, I need to go away and be alone for. Both targets down. Well done, 47. That is Ted Mendez, one of the country's most influential military grade money men. This must be connected to Kronstadt. Collecting pictures of celebrity entrepreneurs now, 47. Hmm. What are you thinking? Ah, Ted, good to finally see you. Guess traffic was rough. Ah, right, never mind. Let me show you everything. I'm going to say something provocative now, Ted. War is going out of fashion. It's dirty. It's just plain bad PR. Nobody wants to exchange their children and loved ones for flags and medals anymore. The glory... Flags and medals anymore? The glory is gone, Ted. But, luckily, Kronstadt has a solution for that. Imagine this. Android infiltrators operating in the field, disguised and fully embedded, ready to strike at a moment's notice. Indestructible robotic operators who can infiltrate the deepest sanctuary of any adversary, striking an unseen fatal blow, a surgical tool for a blunt world. Imagine an army of them, fully equipped android medics seeking out wounded servicemen and injured civilians, bringing them to safety, or patching them up then and there. Android pilots delivering payloads deep inside enemy territory with uncanny precision and minimal collateral damage. All right, Mendez, it's very straightforward. Let me show you. I just pick any of the pictures on the desk, then I use the scanner to upload the biometric data, and Palace will do the rest. Target acquired, WB. Obviously, the final system won't rely on you manually feeding it biometric data. This is still a prototype. This is a pivotal moment in modern conflict solution, Ted. Palace is entirely foolproof. All you need is to pick a photo from the table. Target acquired. Robert Knox. Both targets down. Well done, 47. Head for an exit, and we'll speak again soon.
Ah, Mr. Hossein, ready at last. Uh, did you get a shave? Oh, well, never mind. Come with me to the lounge. After you, Mr. Rangan. That is Darwood Rangan, producer of mediocre movies and a full-time criminal. Oh, beautiful. His brutality is overshadowed only by his giant ego. Kya baat hai? If the new piece catches my forceful nature like this, I will have nothing short of a masterpiece on my hands. I'll be the envy of everyone. I guarantee a perfect execution, Mr. Rangan. All right. Chalo, let's get this done with. I expect these to be the final brush. You know, this painting is sure to bring you a lot of future work. Hmm. Look, once the word gets out and my art appreciating friends see it, your phone will be ringing off the hook. I can't wait. Hold your breath for a moment, Mr. Rangan. That's the reason I told you I wouldn't pay for the commission, by the way. I'm not stingy. No, no, not at all. But if I'm already paying you in exposure, hmm? well, let's not overdo it huh? you know i prefer cash over exposure clench your fist please <laughs> who doesn't but sometimes exposure can be worth more than just money because in this case it's the gift that keeps on giving just wait and see when you're done with this job the contracts will be rolling in that sounds wonderful mr rangan can you look up a bit thank you that shot came from the trawls. It looks like the Kashmirian finally got a clear line of fire. Darwood Rangan is dead, and not even by your hand, 47. What will you think of next? So, the Kashmirian is scoping out a bridge in an area primarily used as a laundry business. I haven't met the new form. Take a break. You deserve the rest. Oh, thank you. My arms are about to fall off. I'm ready for my meeting with Miss Shah now. Miss Shah's been waiting for this all day. The foreman's ready to meet up with Miss Shah on the bridge. We're heading there now. Follow me to the bridge. <sighs> the new foreman finally graces us with his presence. What do you have to report? I see a lot of dead weight. Hmm. I've made a similar observation. Tell me more. Well, the objective is... find the root of the problem, work to get close to it, and then eradicate it. I like your thinking. How would you approach the task you see before you? My usual method is... prepare intensely. Study the problem. Learn everything I can. Analyze all approaches. The idea is to gently nudge people to do what I want. And then, once the objective is in my sights, perfect execution. Not afraid to spill some blood in the process? Not at all. In fact, I find that happens quite often. I like you, Fung. I think this could be the beginning of a very fruitful relationship. I aim to please, Miss Shah. You think I don't see you down there, little ants? Scurrying about at your own pace? Taking unnecessary breaks? Drinking my water? Wasting 
My money. You have had it easy up until now. But your new foreman will bring some order to this rebellious behavior. The days of slacking are over. You hear me? That is Vanya Shah taking care of for seven. Are you planning? <coughs> the Kashmirian is on the move again. It's paid off to follow him so far. Abko is on the move, 47. Not sure where he's headed. Cabco's assaulting the warden. I think he's killing him. That's Vitaly Reznikov taken care of. Well done, 47. See those tokens. Congratulations, Initiate. Now the real trial begins. Hey, Miss Washington. An initiate has completed the treasure hunt. Yeah, I understood. Bring him into the interrogation room now. So, uh, you think you got what it takes, Initiate? You think you got the stomach for what comes next? I can hold my own. Is that so? You some kind of tough... Welcome, Initiate. Take a seat. Good. Now pay attention. This is a polygraph machine hooked up to an ECT device. That's short for electroconvulsive therapy, and I assure you it packs quite a punch. In a moment, Ms. Zoe Washington is going to ask you a series of questions. And I suggest you answer truthfully, or the machine will know. Is that clear? Very. Good man. So, you made it this far, Initiate. But now, the real test begins. Is the machine operational? The ECT device is set to medium voltage. I don't recommend going higher than that. This setup is still largely untested. Well, as long as the initiate speaks the truth, we won't need to. Has my colleague explained the rules to you? Exhaustively. Good, let's begin. And do not attempt to deceive me. First question. Are you the best in your field? No. He's not telling the truth. Now, why would you lie when the truth plays in your favor? Do you think this is some kind of joke, Initiate? If, if so, trust me, you are sorely mistaken. Amp up the voltage. Yes, Madam Chairwoman. Now, Let's try something else. Are you a follower of our late founder, Janus? Yes. False. Look, I don't know what kind of game you're playing, Initiate, but I'm warning you. Do not test me again. Increase the voltage. 
Yes, ma'am. Now, do you have an ulterior motive for being here? No. Nope. He's lying. Enough! Don't say I didn't warn you, Initiate. You brought this on yourself. Crank it. All the way up. Madam Chairwoman. Zoe, are you sure that's wise? I don't even know how far this thing goes. Could be dangerous. Do it. Now. Moment of truth, Initiate. Are you pretending to be someone you're not? No. He's not telling the truth. One target down. Nice work, 47. Next up, Sophia Washington. It's just in front of the fountain. Rebecca Carlisle. I'm Noel Archer, the photographer. Great to meet you. Uh, nice to meet you, too. I, I really admire your work. You're such an inspiration for photographers and, and journalists, both. Well, thanks very much. You know, I would just love to show you my portfolio. It's in my car. How about after the shoot? Uh, this is not the best time. Uh, we could set up a meeting. Tuesday, perhaps? Thank you, no. I have a lot to see to. Down by the fountain. Edward, you can't let Mother get to you like this. You've always been immune to her. How do you do it? I'm the youngest. Guess I just flew under the radar when it came to her attention. I don't think so. She really respects you. If you just stopped craving her approval, you're nearly 50, Edward. I know. I'm such a loser. But you're not. You're a professor, you're artistic, you've got your music. I mean, that's really something. It's not exactly expanding the Carlisle Empire, though. But thanks. We right ahead, please. Up. I expect you to be quick that about the shoot. That is Alexa Carlisle, Everything unofficial leader of the Provenance Partners and last to one to be alive. Listen, everyone. I understand that you have a lot of questions. Please be patient for a little longer. I will address you in the sitting room afterwards. Right, get in position. Let's get this over with. There's a puddle of water here. Well, never mind. Let's just get this done, shall we? Chin up, Edward. No one wants to look at that long face. You're such an idiot, Gregory. I'm fine, Rebecca. Fine? You look like a nervous wreck. Stop bickering. We should hurry up. This place is sucking That's the Madame Carlyle taken it care of. Time to get the... Staging your own death. A major, grandiose cock-up, I'd say. Be quiet, Gregory. Well, it shows you're only human, after all. I never would have guessed. Oh, stop pacing for... <coughs> for <my> sake. <coughs> not good, not good at all. Man, this That's one Madame like Carlyle taken care of. We need to Time to get the file on up. Arthur Edwards. Alicia Reynolds, I regret to inform you that Code 41 is now effective for your employment status. Thank you for your service. Jeremy Bolt, 
I regret to inform you that Code 41 is now effective for your employment status. Thank you for your service. What? That can't be right. Code 41 is confirmed effective for your employment status. Oh, God. This is not good. This is not good. Sharon Reed. I regret to inform you that Code 41 is now effective for your employment status. Thank you for your service. Mom, it's Jerry. I think I've just been fired. I have no idea. I thought it was going really well. I like it here. I can't believe it. But who, though? Friend. Oh, you mean Vincent? Yeah. Good. That's I'll Imogen go Royce down. Take care of Hush, and we can get to the core. Huh. The rich scratch their asses, too, when they think nobody's watching. <laughs> Don't be crude. Pay attention. Yates wants us on high alert. We've been at this for months. Ever since the one percent began. Nothing's gonna happen. I know. But when you start thinking like that, that's when it does. Who are we on the lookout for, anyway? Yates can say. Are you Stand sure they're up for this? I don't want to piss off someone who could take my... Falcon. I have a target request. Standing oh. by for visual ID. Sending target Use your camera. ID. Over. Over. Copy that. Standing by for the go order. Over. Take the shot. Target is down. Over. You know, I was really looking forward to seeing you at the club last week. Falcon, I have a confirmed security threat. This is no drill. Over. I see it. Standing by for kill order. Over. Take the shot. Over. Target is down. Over. Get inside that safe back there. Of course. I'm human. Any, uh, any luck? Nah, not yet. I've had something cool, though. It's usually last wills and surveillance pigs. You know, black. Oh, wait. Even his bad decision. So next, it's like a corpse. Stay for the wood and material witness the prosecution, and you need to get rid of her. Walk me through your strategy. Best course of action is blackmail. Senora Yates, I found this. Patrolling. It's about your husband. You might want to take a look. Um, thank you. <laughs> the hell is this? No. <laughs> no, no, it can't be. He, he didn't. He couldn't have. I bastard! <sighs> Don! I know! Valentina? What's wrong? You look upset. Don, what did you do? Tell me you didn't. Do what? I don't understand. Semaphore. The data leak. It was you. 
It was you all along. I... So stupid. Why did I see it before? You leaked the document so you could win your stupid case. You didn't care that my career would be destroyed. My reputation dragged through the mud. Your Don Cojones Yates and Don Yates never loses a case, no matter the cost. My love, it was... I didn't mean for you to... What did you just call me? Are you insane, Don? How can you claim to love somebody and then destroy their world with the flick of a pen? It was just business. You know the game, Valentina. You know how it's played. There's a limit. There is always a limit. No. The old Valentina, she would have understood. But you've been down here for too long, my love. You've grown soft. Bastard. How's this for soft? No! Ah! Don, Don, get up. Get... Get back up here. We're not done. I didn't mean to. Ah, ladies and gentlemen. Mr. Flowers, our resident sommelier. I believe he has brought us something quite special. Perhaps you will educate us, Mr. Flowers. This is the 1945 Grand Paladin, one of only five bottles in existence. The vintage is legendary, the proverbial unicorn wine. The year was hot, the wines super concentrated, and thanks to hail and frost, the production was small. Only 300 bottles were ever produced. And when the vineyard was bombed during the closing days of World War II, only a single crate survived. It is said to have amazingly complex aromas with long, savory layers of fruit and spice flavors and a silky texture. Enjoy. Wonderful. Thank you, Mr. Flowers. Feel free to stick around in case our guests have questions. This wine was gifted to me by the Ark Society an acknowledgement of my firm's legal services. It stands as a powerful reminder that Providence draws its strength not from force, but from partnership. We are but a few, and yet together, we are unstoppable, because we stand united. My friends, loyalty is everything, which is why we cannot allow traitors into our ranks. Ah, oh, yes. Here it comes. This woman has waged bloody war on us. More than a dozen heralds and operatives dead. Your colleagues and clients, my friend, Ken Morgan. Not to mention the partners themselves, our founders, our benefactors. Make no mistake, this woman's hands are soaked in blood. Our blood! And Arthur Edwards, the new supreme head of Providence, is handing her the keys to the kingdom. Now, does that seem right to you, my friends? Does that sound like loyalty? He's got Absolutely. Point. Yes. Perhaps Absolutely. Edwards simply recognizes talent when he sees it. Perhaps this is why I am also in the running to become constant and following this childish outburst. I dare say I am in the lead, Don. What did she say? You're lying, of course, which only proves my point. You cannot be trusted, Miss Burnwood. This woman will be our downfall. That is, unless we take matters into our own hands. You are heralds, sworn to protect Providence against all threats, including inside ones. I have devised a plan. Together we can make it work, but you have to decide now, my friends. Are you with me? I'm in. Yes. Yes, I agree. Yes. I'm in. Listen to yourselves. Don Yates is not even appointed constant yet. And already he conspires to betray his master. I don't pretend to understand Edward's every move, but I do know that this man is an opportunist and unworthy of office. Then you are a traitor to the Heralds. The room is against you, Tamara. 
Stand down now, or share her fate. Edwards, we'll hear about this. I think not. I am sorry, but you brought this on yourself. Mr. Cortazar? Escort Miss Burnwood to my office. I'll join you shortly. Right. Move it. Please!